I'm Joshua Oppenheimer. I'm a nonfiction filmmaker. I somehow try and use the camera to explore how people want to be seen and how they see themselves. Uh, very often in nonfiction film, filmmakers pretend to be work observing a pre existing reality as though there are flies on the wall. I think what they're very often really doing is simulating a reality with their characters in which they pretend not to be there. Whenever you film anybody, they start performing. And in that sense, filming you, I can have this opportunity to see how you want to be seen. And from that, we can infer how you really see yourself. So that's, that's what I explore in my filmmaking. Well, over the last 10 years, I've been working in Indonesia, working with perpetrators and survivors of the 1965 Indonesian genocide, where with the help of Western governments, including the American government, the Sukarno government was overthrown, a military dictatorship put in place, and within something like six months, somewhere between half a million and two and a half million people were murdered. And the perpetrators of this genocide have basically been in power ever since. So when you approach them, rather than deny what they've done, they almost without exception would boast about it. In my film, The, the Act of Killing, what happens to a whole society when it's built on terror and lies? What moral vacuum does that create? What was unexpected was how much the perpetrators wanted to talk, how much they were eager to present themselves, stage themselves almost as heroes. The government and the perpetrators and the local authorities rolled out a red carpet for everything we were doing. You can see that in the act of killing. You see in the act of killing a government minister flies up from Jakarta to participate in a reenactment of an attack on a village. We see a massacre of a village. We see uh, Indonesian state television, the equivalent of PBS, produce a talk show trying desperately and pathetically to glorify the genocide as a whole. And my question here was, who is the intended audience? For whom are these men performing? How do they want to be seen by me? by the world through my camera? How do they want to be seen by their small grandchildren in front of whom they would also boast in this way? And I had this sense that if I could answer that question, the whole lie that the genocide was something heroic would come crumbling down. Receiving the MacArthur Fellowship pretty much towers above every other kind of recognition that I've had. I think what's wonderful, actually, about this about receiving a MacArthur Fellowship is it creates the conditions now for me to be just as probing and, and exploring and wild and innovative in my next, my next steps, in my next body of work.